Uber is coming out with a brand new feature and expanding their partnership with GitUpside. What's the new feature and partnership? That's what we're talking about right now. Hey everyone, my name is Chris and welcome to Real Rideshare Stories. And Uber is looking like they're trying to help drivers when it comes to saving money at the pump. Well, they could just raise rates, but they're not. So, next best thing is they partnered with GitUpside and also they're providing a brand new feature when it comes to the Uber platform and taking rides. Now, this is available in pretty much all areas and will be rolling out throughout the rest of the year and new additions will be coming next year, but it is not available in New Jersey nor Wisconsin due to certain regulations. And they're also working on New York City because of regulations there. So they're gonna try, but don't expect that in those areas anytime soon, if at all. So first off, GetUpside and Uber have been partnered since August, trying to help drivers save money at the pump. Now they are expanding that to offer get upside directly in the Uber app. So you don't even have to change apps in order to get gas savings. So that is really nice to see. And also they're providing a brand new feature that is called pause trip requests. So you will be able to pause trip requests from coming in so you can go to the bathroom. So you're able to go fill up and also grab something at a store. So how it's going to work is you essentially can pause requests coming in and it will then bring up a new screen where it'll ask you what type of stop do you want to do? Do you want to go to the bathroom? Do you want to go get gas? Do you got to go grab something? So it's going to have that that's going to bring up and then you select whatever you want to select. And then if you want to drive to a gas station or a public restroom or whatever, it will actually GPS you there. And then when you're ready to go back online, you can hit resume and new trip requests will finally come in. So it's a really cool feature that is going to keep you online, do everything in app, including your gas savings. And then it's also going to be able to get you back on. The biggest thing I hope that they're going to put on this because otherwise it's probably just not really necessarily worth it is if you are in the middle of a promotion, especially a streak bonus, and you have to fill up, or you got to go to the bathroom suddenly, or whatever it might be. If you can pause that and pause your streak bonus and then resume your streak bonus when you're ready to go back, that can be game changing for drivers. Because unfortunately, let's face it, sometimes when you start a streak bonus, you might forget to fill up, or you may not have to go to the bathroom or something. And then all of a sudden, oh, I got to go to the bathroom. Oh, I'm on E. I got to fill up something like that. And then you got to go off and unfortunately break your streak bonus. Now, most of the time, usually people are going to fill up at the beginning of a shift. But if you're driving full time or doing this for an extended period, you might go through gas a little bit quicker and may not realize where you're at necessarily if you've been driving for many hours before that. Either way, I hope that they have that feature built in when it comes to pausing. It should because, well, essentially all you're doing is taking a little break and telling Uber that you're going to be back online in a little bit. You just got to fill up or go to the bathroom. Pretty simple, huh? Now, this feature has been rolled out to several drivers already, and it will continue its rollout through the end of the year. So the big thing is, if you haven't seen this yet, make sure you downloaded the newest version of the app. And if you don't see it after that, you will be getting it very soon. Now, this is also currently for rideshare only, but it will be brought to delivery people as well before the end of the year. First, I want to hear from you before I give my thoughts. What do you think about this feature? Do you think that there should be some more things implemented into it? And what are they? And also, have you used it yet? And what do you think? Comment below, let me know. All right, so far, I do like the feature. I like how they're also expanding it to include convenience store stops in the coming year. I think it's going to be very good for drivers, especially for those who may be in an area they're not familiar with because a ride or something went there. And so they might not be familiar with finding a bathroom or a gas station, especially trying to save money at the pump and things like that. So I think this is actually a really good feature because, well, let's face it, if you can't get more money per ride, well, at least save some money on gas is going to be good. 
And then also being able to pause instead of going fully offline and doing everything in app is again, just a little bit easier in the grand scheme of things. Now, again, I do hope that they do have that pause streak bonus feature implemented as well. So if you have to take a pause, instead of having to start over, it'll keep you where you're at. And I think that'll be really good. Now, I don't know for sure because I'm making this video the day that Uber announced this feature. So I haven't seen any real world practice yet. I don't know. Uh, hopefully it will. And again, make sure you comment if you've tried this already and let me know. All right, and that's going to wrap it up for this one. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell. Also, sound off in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on this. And as always, never drink and drive. Always tip your drivers, deliver drivers, and your shoppers. We'll see you in the next one.